Hey folks, thanks for tuning in. In this short video, I wanna show folks how they can share a PowerPoint presentation over Zoom so that way they can deliver a lecture while students watch on on the PowerPoint. So today we'll start by talking a little bit about how to share a screen on Zoom and then how you would work through a PowerPoint to give a lecture. Let's go ahead and get to it. So the first thing that you wanna do is to go ahead and set up your Zoom meeting. There's a bunch of different ways to do that. Um, it can be as complicated as uh, setting it up in Canvas with the Confer Now program, or as easy as just clicking new meeting here or scheduling a meeting. I assume that most folks will schedule directly from the app, but again, whatever your process is should be fine. For the sake of this presentation, I'm just going to go ahead and create a um, quick uh, meeting just by clicking new meeting going into my personal one and so hypothetically I would have created this and sent it out and shared it with my class so at this point I now have a live zoom session I have mine set up to do a couple things such as record them into the cloud automatically however all of those options are also available on the bar down in the bottom of the screen so the first thing that you want to do if you're going to live broadcast a lecture with a PowerPoint presentation is to share your screen. Now, it may look slightly different on your computer because I am on a computer that has two monitors. And so when I click the share button, it brings up all of the programs that I have open as well as the two screens that I'm connected on. I find the best thing to do is just to share the screen that you plan to project your presentation from. So in the case of me, that is screen number two. So I'm gonna go ahead and click it, and then I'm going to press the share button here. Now, Zoom is sharing my entire screen, and if any students were logged into the session and were watching, they would be able to, uh, to see it. Now, there's a couple things that you're going to want to do to make sure you're set up before you start giving your presentation. The first thing of which is, of course, to go ahead and unmute the self this way that your students are able to hear you. If the microphone looks like mine does here, and you can see that the audio level is fluctuating, that means that I'm broadcasting audio. Also, if possible, it makes sense to go ahead and turn on your camera. Since I'm currently using my camera to record this session, I can't do that, but starting video is as simple as clicking on this link and then it should go ahead and broadcast. If you're having problems with your video, you can always select this little drop down arrow here and see if you have a different camera incorrectly selected, but it should be the webcam that's either embedded in your laptop or that's plugged into your computer. If you have those two things ready to go, you're ready to go go ahead and start presenting your PowerPoint presentation. This is pretty simple. Go ahead and open up the PowerPoint file that you want to, uh, to present and put it in presentation mode just like you would if you were in your class. At this point, the students will be able to see both the slide that you're sharing on your screen as well as your video, which means that basically you're able to go ahead and start presenting your presentation. Now, there are a couple limitations that come with this. One, if you only have one monitor, it's sometimes difficult to see all your students' faces. It will usually show up in a bar along the left when you have students logged in. Since I have two monitors, what I usually do is open up the gallery view over on my second monitor. That way I can kind of observe my class while I'm giving the presentation. But if you're dealing with the limitations of only having the one screen on your computer or laptop, just kind of go with it, but make sure to check in with your students every once in a while um, and instruct them if they have questions that they can unmute themselves by holding down the space bar to go ahead and interrupt you and ask those questions or they can post questions in the chat and you can go ahead and see those by having the chat window uh, chat window open one of the nice things is that zoom tends to hide parts of itself so what I usually do as a best practice is just kind of leave the chat window open and off to the uh, to the side that way if a student has questions I can kind of connect back to it and answer their questions as they go but for the most part then if you're used to presenting with PowerPoint it's pretty easy to bring up your information talk a little bit about your information and continue through as you are delivering your uh, your lecture there's obviously a bunch of tools that uh, that zoom has there's the ability to annotate and do a bunch of other stuff but honestly 
Like for most folks that are just trying to get through a lecture, this setup is going to be sufficient for you to be able to present and at least somewhat interact with your uh, with your class. So I know a lot of this can be difficult, especially if you're uh, one of your first times using Zoom. Do know that it gets a little bit easier to manage over time. You get a little bit used to it. And I find that most folks after delivering a couple lectures on Zoom, sharing their screen like this, are pretty comfortable with it and can start to kind of restore some of that class interaction and uh, whatnot. When you are done presenting your present uh, your PowerPoint, if you want to go back to just the gallery view and being able to see all your students, just click the little stop share button right uh, right here and that'll bring things back to uh, to normal so that you're able to see your class and ask questions. Also know that it's fine to bounce back and forth in it. If you want to exit the PowerPoint and have a discussion about a prompt or do a small activity with your class, it's easy enough to do that way. And at any point in time, you can always just re-click the share button, bring it back up, and dive back into your PowerPoint uh, presentation. Well, that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching this video. And as always, if you have questions, feel free to throw them in the comments and I will try to answer them as quick as I can. All right, thanks for watching everybody.